welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're going to get back on this little 15 horsepower Evinrude that had the uh, lower unit that went kaboom inside. And uh, so I went out to my bone pile and grabbed up another one just like the other one. And we're going to get this thing back together in this video and then my neighbor dropped in and he's going on a deer hunt him and a few buddies and they have a big saner boat that sleeps about like six or so and then they take little rafts and put on the deck of that boat and then they anchor the big boat take the rafts into the shore and do their hunt and whatnot he brought me a little 15 or a 9.9 .9, i think it's a 15 johnson older style um, lower profile style and the carburetors all plugged up and everything in it i put the hose on it went to squeeze the bulb nothing couldn't get no gas to go in so she's all probably plugged up with the boogers inside that you understand so we're going to get this lower unit done and then we're going to dive into this uh little 15 johnson and see if we can't get it to come to life and that's what we're going to do in this video so that is the plan but you never know what's gonna come walking into this little shop so let's get started gonna force me to up and use my needle nose which of course are somewhere oh there the oh I'll get it out of there you are like a hurricane Just be in a pickle. more geese put some geese on these boats one there one on the front and the other side you gotta be kidding me what now Don't even know what that meant. Mm. 
There's that one. I got that one, y'all. And there's that one, y'all. So let's see what we got. There's forward, neutral, and reverse. And neutral, and forward. So now, we'll put the rest of the bolts in. Then I'll throw in our tank. We'll see what we get. I'll be right back. Okay. Now I've got to pull, put on oh, this recoil. And you've got this safety interlock over here. Let me get moved around. I don't think you're going to be able to see much of it anyway because just. Well, at least get you on the right side, you know. Get on the stand. This little deal right here. You gotta get that clipped into the recoil. And it's not that hard. It's just kind of a floppy little old pain in the butt. Get my gloves off. Mess with that thing. Just floppy, 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 floppy. And it comes in there, if I remember right. Goes through that little slot. And then into that. But if I remember. How does that work? Yeah, there's the hole. Where you at, man? There. Okay. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a slot right in there. And then there's a hole right there where my thumbnail is. And that's where you got to get that little bin there. I'm going to go ahead. Well, I'm not. Let's see. I can do it. You can do it. Oh, and then that thing flops around. Just makes it home. And you knock it out of the way. Oh, come on. Oh, I hate these things. How much plasticky crap can we make? Got it. I don't say I do. I say I do. What's hitting? Some wires over here. Getting yeah. Some wires giving me hard times on that little bitty thing. But it Giving me just a hard time. Hard time. <laughs> All right, are we in? Where we at? I don't think I'm in neutral yet. Well, yep, what's going on here now? Besides, this is all jammed in everywhere. I don't know, something got bent. It don't look right in there, though. Still kind of, I think it just needs some lube. Need a little lube, see if that don't help things. That's the way it's supposed to be. That's the way it's supposed to be. And that's the way it's supposed to be. Just needed some lube. So, let me get her in a tank, be right back. There we 
quicker. Squeeze a bob, squeeze a bob. Squeeze the bob, squeeze the bob. We got to squeeze the bob, squeeze the bob. I think you can see it. All right, so we got our choke on, our bulb squeezed, and I know I'm almost positive I stabbed the uh, water tube but this is a used lower unit I did not change the impeller because this came off an engine that had been uh, submerged and as far as I knew the water pump was perfectly good but that's not so so now we get to drop that lower unit again so, yeah, sometimes that's how it goes. I'll be back. All right, let's see what we get on this guy. Oh, Jesus. Look at that. Remember what I told you about these brass ones? Always coming delaminated and why I prefer the aftermarket. You get that. See that? It peeled right off of that. So, yep. My little pen. Don't lose my pen. So, and that's what you'll get on these brass ones. I find a lot of time. That's why I prefer. I've never seen this happen with the nylon ones. They have the nylon core. I've never seen that happen. Just with the brass ones. Alright, so I got plenty of those. Impellers. Let me grab one. There's a new one, and, and this one is an, an OMC version. It's got the brass in there. I'm out of the uh I'm out of the uh nylon ones right now. I got some coming in, but I'm out of them right now. Put a little geese for the pen, you know, for the pen, you know. And let's just clean up that plate a little, you know, you know, you know. It looks pretty good. And everything else looks pretty good. Housing. It looks pretty good. All right, everything else is looking pretty good on this thing. So, now what I do is find that little pin that I said don't lose, that of course I immediately lose. Now I got it. I'll call it. I'll call it. I'll see if I can get it to stay there. All right, all right. All righty, all righty. It's on that one, facing straight ahead. Can't be having that. It's got to be right up near the top. Back on the sole. Then I got to get my screwdriver and pin it there. Didn't kind of push it up in there. That didn't work either. <laughs> hey, sometimes these things can be a pain. 
I've even been known to file them a little bit to a point. But I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Okay. Ouch. Then all I do is spray a little soap on there. Put it there and turn clockwise. And we got an impeller. We've got one. Push some bolts in. Put them in. Okay. Get set up again. It's name that tune. I pay rent on a run down place. There ain't no view, but there's lots of space. I pay rent on a run down place. There ain't no view. There's lots of space. Name that too. Okay, I put an impeller in it. Let's see what we get. Nice, good lower unit. She runs. She shifts. She pees. Do up the bill. Do up the bill. I'll be back. 
Okay, in addition to uh, into these parts here of the clutch dog that exploded, I wanted to show you some other damage I found. And when I took the donor motor in here for this one, for the lower unit, like a dummy, I didn't open up and check the uh, impeller. And so, of course, that's what we had there for the impeller. But these clutch dogs, as you know, let me get you over here in there. They slide back and forth on those splines, like, like so. Reverse forward, reverse forward, that kind of thing. Well, something I noticed after I cleaned things up was look at, look at this. Look at all the gnarly on that. It chewed that up really good. I don't, I'm hoping the camera picks it up. But it, it just chewed this all to pieces right here as well. So I just thought I'd share that with you. Um, keep your propeller out of the mud and the sand and the rocks. And you won't see that. You can see that in there? Keep your propeller and your lower unit above the displacement of the water for the vessel which you are riding in. Son, make sure you do. Yep. Sure enough. But there she is now. She's back to being a little cutie. She told me she feels complete. She looked right at me and said, You complete me. Don't you run your outboard motor into the rocks. Don't slam your propeller into the rocks. Well, your engine's gonna stop if you run it into the rocks. And then you'll have to roll yourself back to the dock. Well, don't run your old propeller into the mud. No, don't run your old propeller into the mud. If you run it in the mud, you'll hear some crashing and some thuds. Then you'll have to get a tow back to the ramp. So don't run your outboard motor in the mud. No, don't run your outboard motor in the rocks. If you run it in the sand, it's gonna cost you money, man. And you'll have to get a tow back to those dogs. Don't run your outboard motor into the mud, son. Okay, so we got this little cutie 1997 effing rude all put back together. And she'll be able to go out there and hopefully the new owner of this beautiful little motor understands. You can't be going out there and sticking your propeller into the mud and the rocks and the things like that. You understand? So, we got her all squared away. I've already got another victim right behind you in my tank. It's already there. Another victim. And it's truly a victim. But that'll be another video. But that's going to be a wrap on this one. And as always, thank you for watching. And remember, that's one more Hack from Kodiak. Thanks for watching. Now don't you forget to subscribe to Inside Outboards with your host, Cody Bass.